Okay, welcome to the next part. Let's see if we can find a mission for Arthur Morgan. Let's see, are there any missions here? Here is a H. Uh, let me see, do we have some missions at the camp? Maybe. Mr. Morgan. What is it? Mr. Morgan. Hey. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. I think I've received a letter at my camp. Let's see what it is. Right about here, it seems like mission. Let's see, change clothing. Oh, nice. Can I change the clothes? Outfit. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's change our clothing. I like this one. Exactly. Prince turned into a toad, Hats. lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. I like curse? this one. Well, I didn't quite Coats. understand what the woman was saying. Kind uh, of I don't think he will. I don't know. He's gonna. He needs a coat. Less. No. Well, if they massacred people, they well I like this one a bit. Let's do Coats. this one. Shirts. You bad need. weather or something else. No. Something about an eagle or an owl. Uh, pants. Gravesite. Let's do this it. one. Okay, what about I suspenders? Okay, innocent. that's good. Now oh, you got some new clothes. Hello, Arthur. Inspect letter. Okay, let's see. What is this? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. Mm. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. Oh. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Oh, nice. That's great. I have a girlfriend. I didn't know you had a girlfriend, Arthur Morgan. Let's see. What should we do? Should we go to the to the girlfriend, guys? What do you think? Mary Linton. Yeah, she's a fine-looking woman. Let's go to Mary Lint and see what she's about. I think we should pay her a visit. Okay, let's take the horse and see you in a bit. Okay, it seems like we have arrived at Mary Linton, our girlfriend, our true love. Let's go on ahead, pay her a visit. Let's see what she's all about. Loved once and true. Two. Let's see. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Whoa, she's a badass. Coming out Mrs. with a Linton. revolver. Call her for you. Oh, there she is. Hello, Arthur. She's cute. Mary? 
I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? <laughs> Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... It seems come like here Arthur likes me. this Is that girl. It? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Huh. Okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Long time ago now. So, it seems like she want to use Arthur for helping her family, but... It seems a bit like she likes him as well, and Arthur has some feelings for her, you can tell. So yeah, this is interesting. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life, and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah, I think we should help her. What do you think, guys? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. I'll blow you. You already I'll owe me. me. I'll owe you. Maybe Arthur is gonna get a kiss for helping. Okay, boy. Miss Lynn. Okay. Wait. No. I think we should go to this one. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, here we go. What are these people? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! We love once and true. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. What are these people? Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. <laughs> Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? <laughs> I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? 
I have no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, turtles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you. you love turtles. Mm -hmm. I love them too. Turtles. <laughs> yeah, it seems um. like it. On their shirts. Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... What are you doing, Jamie? I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Oh, what a... That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm gonna I don't wanna live anymore. What? Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. He's crazy. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. He sure has some issues. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd 
fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Meet Larry in the station. We going in then? Let's hitch the horse. Let's take this crazy boy to his sister. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. A kiss? It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. No kiss. And you. That's bad. Just the small kiss. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. That's bad. Not even a small peck on the cheek. Nothing. All for nothing, Arthur Morgan. You're a good man, you need me sight. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. We loved once and true. Okay, that's the end of the video. Awesome people. See you on the next one. Giddy up. Heart.